Hey everyone, welcome to Chop Dog Tips. My name is Samantha and this is my little Beagle Mix Molly. Today I want to talk to you guys about pet gates. And you can see that I have uh, one right next to me here that I'm going to do a product review on in just a minute. Um, for pet gates, it's kind of hard to tell which is the best, which is the worst. Um, because they're made for different circumstances, I guess. They're made for different dogs in different homes. And what you need to think about before you invest money in a pet gate is um, how big your dog is, how strong your dog is, and where and when you'll be using this pet gate. If your dog is going to be a large breed, you're going to want a tall gate that is probably hardware mounted into your wall. And the reason for that is because as your dog, dog grows, if you have like a big St. Bernard or a German Shepherd, um, and they push against that pet gate, if it's pressure mounted to the wall, it's probably going to tip over. So you want to think about the size of your dog. You want to think about um, where you're going to be using the pet gate and when. So if you're always going to be using it in the same doorway, then you know having a gate with hardware that mounts it permanently into your wall isn't a big deal. It's always going to be in the same place. If you're going to move the pet gate around your home or use it while traveling, you want something that's going to be easier to bring with you, to travel with you, or to at least move around your home. Um, so a pressure mounted gate is a great choice. This is a pressure mounted gate from a company called Evenflow. This is um, can be used for a baby gate or a pet gate. And this is a pretty standard gate that you can find almost anywhere. You can find it online retailers, pet stores, big box stores, um, everywhere. They have different companies make them, but they're all pretty much the same style and um, you know quality is going to differ depending on the brand. But um, this one from Evenflow is very durable. So that's something that you want to look for in a pet gate because your dog's going to be pushing on it. You're going to be walking over it or opening it and closing it. You want something that's going to be durable. This one runs about $30, which is on the cheaper end of pet gates. Um, some of them you can get around 15 or 20 bucks, but um, they go over $100 too. So um, this is definitely on the cheaper end of things. So you can pick this up for $30 on Amazon. Um, it is 32 inches tall. This is the extra tall. Uh, you can buy one that's not quite as tall. I think they're 24 inches tall. If you have large breeds like we do, we have a chocolate lab and a boxer. So obviously we want something that they're not going to be able to climb or jump over. So um, that's why we chose the extra tall one. And that's something that you need to think about as well uh, with your pets. For our little Beagle Mix Molly, we probably could have got the 24 inch. Well, She's a pretty good jumper, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that you know, that's something that you would need to think about. If you have a small little Yorkie that doesn't like to jump or climb, um, the shorter one would probably be fine. This one can expand from 31 to 50 inches. So measure your doorway, but that's going to fit a standard doorway, and it's also going to fit a much larger doorway. That's quite a good expansion. Um, so that's, that's something to definitely um, be mindful of, though, before purchasing is measuring your doorway. So I just want to show you how quickly and easily this works and um, why this is my favorite pet gate and my pet gate of choice. Um, so you see this bar here that comes up and it's got all these notches in it and then there's this little metal piece here that fits right in those notches and all you do, so like right now this is, oh that's way too short for our door so you're going to come up a couple of notches, push it again, oh too small and keep kind of trial and error. That's this is close, but it's you want it to have a lot of pressure. So you want to get one where um, you know it's it takes you quite a lot of pressure to push it down, and then it's going to be locked into place. You can see that if I go down one, um, it locks it. Whoa! It just kind of barely locks it in place here, so it's still wobbly. So I'm going to go up, back up to the one that I had it on. And these are marked too, so you know, um, like this is 35 inches, so I'm at 36, 37 inches right now. Um, and then you can remember if you're moving the gate around a lot, you could even put a marker on there yourself. So that's nice and sturdy. Um, this is an extra tall gate, so I am 5'2". I can climb over it on my tiptoes, um, but it is at, whoops, I didn't get that very level, did I? I know that's later on the side of it. Um, so, you know, I'm 5'2", and I can climb over on my tiptoes, but little kids couldn't get over this gate, so that's something to consider. Um, I'm assuming that most of you are my height or a little bit taller. Um, if you're shorter than I am, it's probably going to be difficult for you to get over. If you're 
five feet and taller, I'm gonna say, you can probably get over it on your tiptoes depending on how long your legs are. But if you have short legs, um, you might want to invest in a gate that opens. They make pet gates that are pressure mounted like this, but um, there's a, a like a gate inside the gate essentially. So it's pressure mounted and there's a gate in the middle that can open so you can walk through. Um, and those are really nice. You don't get that option with this gate. However, um, the reason that we use it and the reason that it's my top pick for pet gates is because it's easy, it's affordable, and it's portable. We like to take our dogs with us wherever we go. Um, if you take them to a hotel with you you can keep them enclosed in um, you know a smaller space there if you can close off if there's a um, some have like a, a separate bedroom and you can keep them out of there if you wanted to do that um, if you take them traveling we travel a lot to visit family and friends my husband's in the military so we travel to visit with him um, and when we go to his apartment we bring our pet gate with us and it keeps the dogs in a special area in his apartment when we visit other family members um you know we can keep like our dogs in our room where we're staying so they're not just running all over the house while we're gone things like that so it's easy to travel with it's affordable and you know it's sturdy it's secure it's extra tall so even our boxer and our chocolate lab can't get over it um you know this is really for 30 dollars you're getting a great piece of equipment that's going to last a long time this is going to last not just through one one pet but this will last for generations of pets so um, that's what we look for it is certainly money well spent and that always makes me happy as a pet owner um, so that is my reasoning for picking this one it's it's just the um, you know the ease of use really the other pressure mounted gates will have um, like certain little pressure mounts on every corner so you have to turn four things or lock four things into place to get it mounted correctly um you know it just it takes more time they're harder to move around so this is nice it's simple it's easy it's sturdy and that's why i love it if you have any other questions um please feel free to ask i'd be happy to answer them you can contact me through our website, which is chopdogtips.com, or uh, you can find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, we're on Pinterest and Instagram. Um, of course, YouTube, if you're watching this through YouTube, you can subscribe there to stay up to date with all my product reviews. And uh, reach out to me personally if you'd like. You can email me at samantha at topdogtips.com. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions or if you have any product suggestions for reviews or any how-to videos or things like that you want to see on the website that you can't find, be sure to send those suggestions my way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Evenflow Pet Gate, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.